viral medications and also how our body attempts to block infectious viruses. That's what we're going to look at now, the last few minutes of this topic. Um, the first thing I'm going to put on here is on um, a part of the page that's already a little bit crowded. We're going to use red for um, methods that our body uses to block uh, viruses from doing their work. The first thing I'm going to point out here is that animal viruses, all of these viruses we've been talking about, herpes viruses, rhinoviruses, etc., they need to be endocytosed into our cells. And a way that our bodies inhibit that is with a chemical called interferon. Interferon blocks that. Then once you've written interferon over here, move your page over here, and I'm going to tell you more about it. So where does it come from? Well, virally infected cells release an SOS signal, like SOS meaning help, help, and that is called interferon. You can tell right in the name in, it's interfering in something the virus wants to do. And what it interferes with is the endocytosis of the virus. So it basically warns nearby cells, which then go into lockdown. and stop endocytosing. Substances. Or they severely limit it. And so what that means though is the host cells, let's say your respiratory cells, they're going to stop endocytosing substances but it might also then interfere with their normal function, right? But they're just like in a real lockdown, you're going to stop all other activities and deal with the threat. And then when the threat has been dealt with, then you can go back to normal day-to-day -day activities. But for the time being, then the cell is going to go into lockdown and not be endocytosing so that it makes sure that it doesn't accidentally endocytose a virus. Okay, then another way that... Um, antiviral medications, or in this case, this is something that medic medications do. Acyclovir, one of the ways that it works, um, this is an antiviral med, it inhibits attachment of a virus. So it's going to stop that step. And this is one of the reasons why someone that, uh, let's say they think they have shingles, then they need to, uh, which is a, a latent form of chicken pox, uh, they need to start taking it right away before it does a lot of cell damage. Because once it's come into the cells and starts coming out of them, it's damaging a bunch of cells. And so you want to stop the initial attachment of the viruses so that before they've spread, at which point it's kind of too late to have a big effect. And another effect of acyclovir is to actually inhibit the viral replication process. So this might look a little bit messy, but you can bring this red line down and put an inhibition sign all the way over to replicates, inhibit replication. Maybe if we highlight these arrows or these inhibition signs in pink, that will help you keep it straight when you're studying too. And then the other example I gave you was something our own bodies make called interferon. And that's inhibiting endocytosis.